What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing, once again kayak fishing. As you can notice, I uh, am in shorts and a t-shirt as it is going to be a 71 degree day in the middle of December. I uh, couldn't believe it when I saw it on the weather uh, radar. I said it's going to be a 71 degree Saturday, I'm taking my kayak, kayak out again. So I'm on a, a nice big reservoir, uh, lots of different species on there. I got leftover night crawlers. I kind of do what I did in my last kayak video, just kind of drop uh, some night crawlers in the deeper spots that I can find. I don't know how deep it gets in this reservoir. I'm just gonna kayak around and see what I can find, really. I can probably do around four hours of fishing today, so let's hope it's a productive day. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Had a little trouble launching the kayak. There's a apparently a polar plunge going on in this reservoir and they're doing it right at the boat launch. So I had to like squeeze by all the all the staff members and police and firefighters and stuff that they had there. I feel like I might have this water to myself because they're completely blocking off the boat ramp. So I don't see how any actual like John boats or bass boats are gonna be able to get in here. I being a kayak was able to squeeze to the side, but yeah, I don't know. I couldn't do any filming over there because they're playing loud copyrighted music. So I had to wait till I was like uh, a good mile away. <laughs> This was actually the first place I took my kayak when I got it in the summer. So it's kind of nice to be back. It's a little out of the way as far as driving. And also you gotta pay money to get into the park, which is kind of a bummer. But I didn't really explore too much of it. I explored some of the smaller little, I don't wanna call them creeks, but like smaller pathways in this reservoir. I'm gonna assume that a lot of the fish are deep. I'm not after a certain species, I'll catch anything. There are a good amount of species in here, crappy, yellow perch, all types of panfish, bass, catfish. Even though the air temperature isn't that bad, the water temperature is still pretty cold, so my feet got pretty, pretty cold. Oh my gosh, it's not deep here at all. Oh, it's like several feet deep here. Yeah, I need to find the deep part. Maybe find some cover, if I can find some deeper cover or some a lay down or whatever. Ooh, that was a bite. I actually got a bite, guys. Ooh, that was a good tug. I missed it, but that was a good tug. There's a lay down right in front of me, this big old tree. You can see it's just under the water, but there's more of it under the water too. Oh, that's a bite, that's a bite. Got it, did I get it? Oh, get out under that branch. Yes! <laughs> First fish is a bluegill, of course. Uh -oh. The wind is pushing me a little bit. Am I recording? I am. I'm not going to put on the secondary camera for a bluegill. At least not this one. Can I lip you? I kind of lip you. Uh, maybe six inch bluegill right there. Kind of long, kind of skinny though. But first fish of the day. Didn't take too long, thank goodness. Let's see if there's anything else down there. Bite, got it. Ooh, this is, it was this bass, that's a bass, nice. Ooh, no, 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 get away from the tree. You're not big enough to net, but I'll net you anyways. <laughs> nice, solid second fish. Think this lay down might be the ticket today, ladies and gentlemen. Little dude, chill, bro. Well, there we go another species and a bass, which is totally dope. This uh, big old tree lay down here has gotten me two pretty quick bites, uh, both off of night crawlers. This guy, a little healthy, you know? He's been eating pretty well. <sighs> All right, that little fella. Thank you. I didn't need to net this guy. <laughs> Ooh, are you dirty screen, are you dirty? So it's the same setup. It's got a bullet weight, swivel, maybe 10 inches of line, and a size six 
bait hook, I believe. Uh, I was thinking about downgrading, but I got those two guys, so maybe I'll stick with the, the size six. Little teeny piece of night crawler on there. I'm gonna see if that'll get me another one. Fish? Oh my gosh, it's a teeny, teeny little. Is this a yellow perch? Oh my gosh, this is the teeniest yellow perch I think I've ever caught. Oh my goodness. This is, this is a second camera worthy. Look at that. Teeny little specimen right there. <laughs> Third species though. It was barely a tug. Barely a tug. I thought I was hitting the bottom. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Love it. All right, little fella. All right, y'all, um, unfortunately it has gotten much windier, which is making it harder to stay still, um, even with the anchor. Um, I'm kind of just exploring right now. Never been this far from the boat ramp in this body of water. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm I ventured a little far away from where I caught those three fish, and I'm debating whether or not to just keep exploring or to go back and start catching fish again, or maybe even explore the little smaller channels of water that I've already explored and I know usually has fish, so... Yeah, I got decisions to make. <laughs> Alright, so I have decided to go back to where I caught the first three fish, so hopefully now I'll catch at least a couple more. Maybe I'll take this opportunity to let you all know that I have merch. I have a t-shirt, I haven't talked about it in a while. So I figured I'd plug it here in this video. Uh, it's my fish is greater than people shirt. Working on other designs, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, if you're so inclined, pick one up for yourself. Jesus Christ, this wind has gotten so freaking fierce. It's kind of scary to be honest. Since I kayaked into like the more open area of the reservoir. I feel like the wind is just more harsh. Maybe it's just because it's more open as opposed to like the little narrower part I was in. All right, this is where I caught the first three fish, this small little section right here. And uh, already way less windy. Let's see if we can add a couple more fish on to our fishing adventure today. This is probably the calmest part of the reservoir. I'm in a small little channel of water here. I can see the trees going haywire over there. I can hear it too, it's insane. But basically nothing where I am right here, so. Fish. Oh my god, finally! Oh hey, it's another yellow perch! Am I even recording? I am, thank goodness. It has been such a while since my last fish. Several hours, actually, of me fighting the wind, trying to find another fish. Finally found one. Another yellow perch, which is cool. It's not a species I catch too often, so... Really cool. Woo! Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Bye-bye, friend. I cannot tell you how much that fish makes me happy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's another absolutely teeny yellow perch. Wow. Look how cute it is. Another teeny one. Wow. That's all right. I'll catch any size. Especially since I'm getting desperate. Hello, little feller. Bye-bye. Well, unfortunately, that's going to be it for us today. Uh, I was out here for a good solid four hours. Uh, not the, the most lucky of fishing days, but I didn't get skunked on a December day. So I'll consider that a tremendous victory. I'm just happy to be outside. 
Uh, that's what it's all about for me. I just love being outside. I love being on or near or in water. And you know me, I'm just happy to be outside on a good day. So uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Hit that like and sub button if you would. And I'll see you next time.